Greetings from Atlanta. We welcome you from Minsk, Belarus. From Kishinev, Moldova. From Almaty, Kazakhstan. We welcome you from Milan. From the Kropivnitsky city, Ukraine. From Geneva, Switzerland. From Moscow. Riga, Latvia. From Toronto, Canada. Yerevan. From Lviv, Ukraine. Greetings from Dubai. From the Czech Republic. From Uzbekistan. From St. Petersburg. Hello from London, UK. Dnipro city, Ukraine. From Chernivtsi. From Bishkek city, Kyrgyzstan. Greetings from Slovakia. On May 11, 2019, we invite you with great pleasure to take part in this large-scale event, a unique online conference of a latter international public movement. The last chance was held within the framework, the Universal Grain Gamer Professionals Project, which will begin in the USA, Atlanta, Georgia, and will be held around the globe. Today is the day when we witness how people all over the planet unite in live communication and can openly discuss issues that deeply concern each of us. Thousands of participants got together in conference rooms around the world. People from all over the world joined the conference. US, Great Britain, Kazakhstan, Morocco, Switzerland, Italy, Spain, Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, Czech Republic, New Zealand, Russia, and many more. This is truly a landmark event that brings together thousands of specialists, representatives of cultural, religious, and public organizations, mass media, art, diplomacy, people of different professions, ages, religions, and nationalities. All the people who are not indifferent in what kind of society we live in today and if there is going to be next day for each of us. Based on the fundamental social research project The Universal Grain of a Latra International Public Movement. With people participating from more than 140 countries, it was possible to demonstrate that all the people around the world want kindness, friendship and mutual understanding. We face the following questions. If people truly strive for unity and peace, why hasn't peace come to Earth yet? What can each of us do today to make it happen? We will have honest and frank answers to these questions in just a few minutes. Together, we will be able to understand why we have such world problems. As wars, international conflicts, racial and religious discrimination, why the media are hiding and misinterpreting information, and how the consumer format of society has become a dead end in the development of our civilization. Game of Professionals, the universal grain. Society, the last chance, provides a chance for all humanity to honestly to tell the truth, to look into each other's eyes and unite for creation. Not just in words, but also in deeds. On the scale of our vast family, humanity. The full version of the conference. You can watch on Alatra TV channel. On the initiative of the people themselves, the information about this unique historical event is filling the world's mass media, television, press, social network more and more with each day. And this is just the beginning. This is the first step towards unity and further cooperation of people for the benefit of all mankind. The next step is the International Online Conference Society the last chance. This is a unique opportunity for each individual to openly and honestly express their position regarding what is happening in our world today, to see what awaits us in the future and how, having united, we can build a new society on the basis of spiritual and moral values, kindness, conscience, respect and unity. It was really insightful today to see so many people come together from all different parts of the world and unite and take the time to really listen to each other and understand the deeper problems that are happening in this world. Today, unfamiliar people have gathered together, but we have talked here and have become friends all over the world through the internet. Through the network we have also become friends and have truly realized that all people want only peace, and all people are friends. This idea unites the whole world. Fortunately, the whole world really is being united. And it warms my soul because of this. We hope more and more that it's possible that together 
we can create another world that together we can give this world and our humanity one more chance. I really like the name Society, the last chance. It looks like the cry of people indeed, who are already in a submarine and say the submarine captain is not able to make decisions. But people started making decisions themselves. I would like to emphasize once again that the Alatra movement raises such issues that should be discussed by all the countries because it is very important for us how we live and what we will leave after us for our future generations. This is really the last chance and it should be used. We should involve those people who care about their future. What I really enjoyed about it was really bringing to point how much power we have as humans and bringing us closer together by our humanity. Today's conference raised the most important issues. The most important thing that we all have on Earth is life, our life, and it depends only on us what it will be like. It was awareness for me that all those people who were present at the conference were online in different countries and cities seem to be the same people as I am. Those are ordinary people who want love, good, and who are not silent, who do something and want to unite. I was fascinated to the event today because there are many things. Uh, first of all, it was addressed the problem of climate change, so climate crisis during, during the event. The candidate who uh, wants to be president of the United States mentioned uh, that is a fact that climate change is critical and uh, definitely is impacting all of us. Um, the other issue that had really impacted me was uh, addressing the issue of consumption, because consumption is one of the biggest issues. The third aspect that I really enjoy of the event was the unanimity. We need to address, we need to work together, because climate change doesn't affect only the United States or Russia or in London or uh, South Africa. It's affecting us all. And uh, we have just one house that is called Planet Earth. I think the format is very unique in its essence. It is the first time I've seen such a format that people from all over the world take the initiative and get together. As we could see during the conference, people shared their opinion on the fact that everyone wants peace, good and love. That is, everyone has the same wishes, but we are just on different continents. It's great that technical capabilities allow us to express our opinion and unite worldwide. Good is inevitable if everyone contributes some warmth and if people unite and do not pay attention to what religion, nationality or faith they are, but just love and respect each other and move towards each other. Don't be afraid to communicate, talk about topics that concern each of us in general. Because the most important thing is that uh, everybody had the same common goal. They were all thinking about one thing, that is how we can come closer to each other and how we can have uh, a better understanding of each other. Because the important thing is that uh, we have to remove all misunderstandings amongst the people, which actually creates all problems. So therefore, the main idea today was, and everybody which they were talking about and the people they were sharing is how we can come closer to each other and that was a really wonderful thing how the people of different culture of different languages people of different areas different uh, geographical boundaries they were all well connected to each other so that was really wonderful uh, experience and I congratulate the organizers that they have done a wonderful job today it was the first time I saw such a unity in the hall, and it was everywhere, in all the cities, Germany, England, the United States, Morocco, Ukraine, Russia, and others. Everyone listened so carefully, and it was so noticeable that all the people were on the same wave, saying that I like it. It's not a word at all. It's just a feeling. It's a feeling of such incredible happiness that suddenly overwhelmed you when you realized that the things that hurt you very much and that word you actually bother thousands of people around the world. I'm sure that there are actually so much more people, but they're just not involved yet. 
sharing uh, the message uh, during the event. Uh, the uh, first impression I had was like really great uh, to see everybody having uh, one united message and everyone, uh, so many people around the world. I thought it was absolutely amazing, really well put together and I'm so like happy and blessed to have the opportunity to come here and be able to be a part of it. I think it was amazing. It really motivated me to make a change in my whole world and in my country and in the world. Today, on the 11th of May, I visited the Alatra World's People Assembly. I wish there would be a lot of such meetings at the moment. It is really important to make the world we live in much better for the whole mankind. First of all, I think we should be honest, honest with ourselves. We should change ourselves. I am very optimistic about it. The sprouts of good deeds will be growing constantly in the whole world. It's so wonderful to be here. I have just left the hall now, and um, there were presentations of people all over the world. You know, there are so many people who care about what's going on around them. Nobody tries to fix it with any drastic measures, but just in a peaceful way keeping it calm and friendly. People talk about it and are not afraid. This deed is necessary and important for the entire mankind, for all the people, as the world, unfortunately, is being separated by forces that want to apply and use the technology divide and conquer. However, time has changed, and people are already changing. There comes awareness, there comes a lot of information, and the project that we do, you do, all of us do, it is a project of people's international enlightenment. It is extremely important. I would like to say thanks to the Yalatra movement that is taking actions which are vitally important for us today. This is because now we are facing the threat of nuclear third world. And it is serious. Today we are at war and we see that young people are dying, but they are a national pride who could give us descendants. Therefore, I would like to say it is necessary to do it today, because tomorrow may not come. Only a handful of people are in charge, while we stand aside, assuming that we have chosen them and they owe us. However, each individual will show how much his or her work and actions will lead to a certain result. The result will be visible. It was seen at this conference that it really depends on each person. It is necessary to act and to love. As a media representative, I can say that sometimes, of course, the media, instead of uniting people, and building bridges of friendship, sow seeds of hatred. And it is obviously very bad. We should be honest. Indeed, if we give information, it should be truthful. Instead of separating people, we should actually unite them. So this is conference, which took place today, is a perfect example of possible unification. I have one thing to say. Um, forget about the color, forget about the religion. That means we shouldn't separate people. We should be unified and get together and make a better world, make peace. And I'm happy to be a part of this very much. As one wise man said, do not be afraid of a bad friend. The worst he can do is speak badly about you. Do not be afraid of your enemy. The worst he can do is kill you. Be afraid of a person who has seen all this and kept silent only with their consent. Friends spread bad gossip and enemies kill. That is, we shouldn't be silent. If we keep silent, there will be no peace. The climate will be destroyed. 
but we still will have to live on this planet. It is very important to us how our children will live. And we all need to give each other helping hand to make world a much better place and to avoid those people who are trying to hijack world or terrorize the world. This is the great efforts by Alatra's volunteers, something which I did not even imagine, the extent at which they have, you know, made their efforts possible. All across the globe, you know, they try to reach out, which was something amazing, amazing. And I really wish them all the best. Thank you so much. This was a great eye-opener for me because a lot of people have misconceptions about religious beliefs. And religious beliefs should should unite everybody because the basic core of every religion is the same among everybody, from Buddhism to Christianity to Islam to Hinduism to the Torah to Rastafarianism. They all unite everybody. The conference was constructive. I think that it was extremely important as such. A conference was held for the first time. I think it is of extreme importance since this was the first step. I believe that in the future, there will be much more people, significantly more participants will attend the second conference. And it is extremely important that the number of people continues to grow in order to reunite. I would like to definitely thank Elijah for doing this. This is, I think it's a much needed message. But this is something I've been aware of because I I experienced it today. So this definitely is, you know, a much appreciated event. And I would like to thank the the team at Elijah for giving us such an awesome message. This conference gave a lot of information and knowledge about the fact that all the people in this world want to unite In order to do this, we have to declare what we want and start taking actions, but not simply speaking, so we change our world for the better. People need to communicate, talk about problems and find common ground, but not to be separated. This is the key to our success as a civilization. That is, if we are united, if we are one family, then we help each other, we love each other. On the contrary, as soon as our thoughts dictate us that someone is bad or come up with something else, in this case, there is separation. This format has shown that we need to raise these topics. We need to say that everyone wants to unite. It was confirmed all over the world. And it is so inspiring that it's simply impossible to convey with words. What can we do now so that the changes can actually take place? Well, we can enact action in ourselves every day. Um, we can look to ourselves to be the greatest people that we can possibly be and to, most importantly, treat other people how we want to be treated ourselves. Um, that's the only way that the change will occur is if one, each person starts to do it themselves and then spreads that love and, and un- unity to other people. So I think in order to see real change, we'll need to see people start to open up to love and open up to humankind and unity and and realize that we're all on the same path. We can create our own future, the future for our kids, our planet, and protect it. If we don't take this step, the times will not get better for the planet, for civilization, for everything. And it will be worse and worse. So it's time for us to wake up and share love, these understandings, and begin to see a friend in every person, wish good to everyone and to love. And I'm so much happy that the Latra has given us this opportunity to unite ourselves. And now it depends on the people and the people around the world that if they really take serious and they think they should sit and cool down and think where we are heading towards. What was the purpose to be here? What is the purpose to be a good human? And if we 
lost our compass, the direction, then we have to stand down and think about it, that we have to turn back to the direction what we, are, we need to do. Definitely it's important to talk to people, talk about things, talk about what's going on, because a lot of people are not aware, and even they are, they don't know there is organization like Alatra, and that they really try to unite the world and the people and do everything better for us. The idea of everybody coming together through one thing, and that is just about love, and that to me is, is everything. You know, we can do a lot in this world. We just need to have the desire, the kind of team that we have gathered here today. That is, it is really a team that will do something, not just talk. We need to involve people as much as possible, because together we are strong. Together we are strong. And we can talk to our leaders if we are together. We should listen to everyone and then just focus on solving these issues. It's all easy, but we need to stay together. We really need to unite. We need to do one thing, each and every person on the whole earth, not only Russians, Ukrainians or Americans or Englishmen, but all the people. I think that this conference is very important. It raises very important global issues for the entire humanity. A lot of people are in the grip of their daily lives, of their thoughts and consciousness. It is necessary to get rid of this all, to try getting more knowledge in order to change our world. But what can each of us do, particularly in our communities, let's say in the street, at work, or in communication with other people. We need to raise these very important issues and strive for people to unite in this movement, in this impulse. When you attend uh, such events, you see how many people around the globe share the same thoughts and same ideas and same intentions. And these events, they give uh, personally me give a feeling that I'm not alone in this willing to change the world for better but yeah but it's important to uh, remember that if you want to make world better start with yourself so for me first step is to um, increase uh, inner feeling of love and kindness and uh, also try to be a positive person, to be a better person every day, and then spread this positivity. Share yes, share and spread around myself. So uh, this is first step. I think it's great that we're here today and for those um, in business who are willing to make a change in communities and stuff like that, because it starts with your own community. Being an impression of, of good, of good things, because there's so much good out there. There's far more good than there is bad out there. It's, it's great to be able to have that choice. What each of us can do to make the world a better place. You should be better yourself. It is up to me to start changing to love, to create, to unite. If I'm a specialist in some field, I should work for creation. To do my best and to be honest with my partners. Then it will be the indicator of my work, where I am now. Here and now. We should take more action together. Say to use the achievements of science, not for the sake of some enrichment or for some particular person or some groups of people, but to use them for the necessary purposes and qualities. I have 3,000 Facebook subscribers. I want to share this beautiful conference on Facebook very much so that all people can take part in this magnificent conference and so that everyone can see what perspective for humanity to live together in love and unity is. I think everyone will sign under this and would like to take part in next year's conference. We need to share this knowledge, all positive and good things that we have received at this conference, with loved ones, relatives and friends. All people are alike. 
They want peace, love and kindness. No one wants war. We all ask ourselves the question, why is that everyone wants peace, kindness and love, and at the same time bad things happen on earth? It means that something has to be changed. The approach, the format, to change the attitude to each other, not to show off, but to really show what we can do with our actions. I was very impressed with the Universal Grain Part 1 The Choice project. I was excited to watch it. So many countries took part in it. At the moment, I am actively making posts on social networks and contacting the coordinators of the Kyiv Center and do what I can to help on the project. I think that every person can pay attention to it five minutes a day. And by doing this, we will eventually change the world for the best. That is, even a small investment of attention to Eletra gives its results. All I can do is to support this positive, creative process, which already exists. The platform has already been created, and it makes no sense to invent something else. There is a great opportunity not to be silent on the Alatra platform. It's like the best idea for me and you. Just need to support it. It is necessary to act. A person learns himself in action. You need to start with a small thing, but systematically add your small part to this huge final result. When we start working together to solve these problems, then there will be a result for all of us, which we are all waiting for so much. This is peace, love, life in society, where we can not be afraid of anything, where there will be development. First of all, the development of oneself as a person. First of all, I would advise to do what I did myself, to read the books by Anastasia Novich, that very clearly, heartily and with great love and respect for people tell us the stories, helping in finding that source of love, good, happiness and joy. They allow all people on earth to see that bright and pure within each of us, given originally by God to everyone, uniting us all. There are no borders, no distances, nothing that could divide our internal basis, because it, personality, is not interested in it all. The inner one is interested in communication, mutual understanding, friendship, and just a smile on everyone's face. To start with yourself, to start with your family, with your children, with people around, and as a result, to stop looking at the world in a search of some material goods. To start looking at the world from more of a spiritual perspective, the one that is inherited by each of us. Long ago, we stepped back from that true one, from which we originate, but we were engrossed by, let's say, material wealth. We should get rid of all this and start communicating with ourselves. First of all, with ourselves. We should not be lazy. We should tell ourselves, stand up, go and take action. The unification of people can only be on the spiritual level. And precisely this unification on the spiritual level will create such conditions in which we can create the Golden Age. That is really a global and topical conference that gathers people from all around the world through teleconference, specialists from different fields of science, from various religions. Could you tell me, please, what can we do today in the society to meet next year? We should communicate more. This should be told to everyone. I think uh, it is important to have people come and speak out uh, and join forces to create such events as, as this, uh, because people meet, discuss, 
um, uh, create new relationships, they start new, uh, I'm talking about projects, um, uh, ideas, exchange, all this helps and it, it grows into something bigger and greater. So if uh, everybody, you know, sits at home and think, oh wow, this is great, they can join us because there's enough work for everybody and it, it's not, it's a pleasure to do. It's not forced upon you, you just do it, you do what you like. And you help humanity uh, become aware that we actually have a um, voice and we can do things. We can. Each of us can start with ourselves. We can't wait for someone to do something in a year. But we will come and support them. At best, or just participate. We are all people. We all want peace and good. It depends on each of us whether we will meet in a year or not. With all of humanity. With all of humanity. Today's meeting made me think, indeed, about what I can do today to ensure that tomorrow or today humanity lives better, that each of us lives better, that members of our families live better. I think if we, the participants, and everyone who already knows about such an event, move in this direction, spread the information, then a lot of people will come next year. It will be a large-scale conference where we will discuss such major issues that were discussed today. Today, the organizers talked about meeting again next year. Personally, I am going to come. I really hope and believe that I will not come alone. I am going to come with my friends. I like the idea itself. The last chance. The scope of technology is impressive. Well, it's just hard to believe that so many people from different countries were able to communicate at the same time, talk together. I hope that next year there will be more of us. And indeed there will be much better technologies so that not thousands but millions of people will be able to talk together at the same time and about the same things. Objective it has of uniting the whole world. And this is the organization which really will help people to have patience, positivity, and then get together. And there should be no conflict or war in the world. We all have to get together. And this is where it is trying to help to get together, unite the all nations of the world. This is what is important. And that's what you people are doing. I would say that this already is a very, you know, very huge kind of event. I would say it should be made more, much more uh, huger. I am very happy to attend this motivating and inspiring conference, which removes all the fears from inside. And I would like to say to all the people around the world, let's unite, let's remove the fears from us. And let's spread love and happiness around us. Do not search for the enemy outside. The enemy is always inside of us. So if we want to change the world, start from yourself. Start at the bottom. Yeah. Definitely at the very bottom with the grassroots. Because politicians are not going to make the change. People yeah. make the change. All the people of the world want love. They want peace, they want friendship, such a society. And it depends on each of us if I sincerely share these understanding. I'll say, look guys, there is not some political party that promises something that might not in fact come true. But there are real people who take the action, who inform, who unite everyone, and we have such wonderful technologies, we can quickly let each other know about it, get together. Just like today, so many people gathered at the conference and we all realized that we have nothing to divide, that we wish no harm to one another. Although we have a different kind of ways, uh, some people believe in the Muslim, Christianity, 
Jainism and uh, Sikhism also, but we have a one destination, mm -hmm. that is the God. It is for the whole humanity, we are all moving in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is what I would like to say. I feel myself confirmed today. Mm -hmm. Help to the human, kindness, always the initial point of the love. If so, if we uh, love someone, we should take care of them. Mm -hmm. We, if we, if I, uh, if we love uh, humanity, and we should do for humanity. This is the core, core principle uh, that we all have our intentions and that we connect it to action. Um, just in the same line, I would really uh, love if now, now today we saw that millions of people were uh, connecting with each other. Um, I would, I would really like uh, if there is a platform where people. Uh, who have ideas about change or who wish to change, then uh, that they, there is a platform that they can mention this. And uh, then a lateral community that is uh, so large that they come together and uh, be, su be supportive to each other in these uh, moments of uh, inspiration and in these, and inspiring each other into action and uh, coming together. Bring, What's the most important and the most powerful is that we all have some special uh, skill in us or some special special thing, and when we bring that together um, yeah. in a community, then then it's the best. And uh, it's a resource that's for free, you know. Mm -hmm. So we don't need anything extra or somebody else's uh, permission or uh, uh, resources. We can just get together mm -hmm. and uh, and work together uh, mm -hmm. towards the common intention. And I think that is what I would wish for the community of the world, uh, that they connect with the intent, that they connect with the cause and the calling. Because as many, many people said before me, and it's absolutely true, otherwise it will be too late. We are producing things which are not needed. We are doing activities which are not needed. We are talking words which are not needed. And so we have to think about it. and. When Alatra has capacity, definitely have capacity, and we are the people, normal people, common people, when we will put our attention, Alatra don't need money, and when we will unite by hearts and minds together, we definitely will generate something dramatically very good, very soon, positive. And this is what I want to say to the people, that when it is possible, please go on the website. Those people who are new, to Alatra. Alatra, they have many websites. Go through and check them, listen and read the books and then decide yourself that where they're heading. It's not about one person, it's not about one nationality, it is for the whole humanity. If you will open your heart, open your eyes, you will see thoroughly, transparently what they are talking about and you will see that they are talking about you, they are talking about your heart, they are talking about your future. And if they are talking about you, it means they are you. You are not separate from them. You have to stand with them. And that's the purpose of the life, and we can change it. That is a fantastic movie, and I just learned you know, this week with inviting me. And uh, I love it because there is um, something that we really need, which is a, a message of, of humanity, a message of love. And I truly believe with those two messages, we can face the climate crisis together. So thank you for joining, and please tell everybody, to your families, to your friends, to everybody who you know, to join us in, in this moment, to make this planet a better world and love each other. This was the first step towards uniting the entire world community. We discussed vitally important issues, and it is critical that these words now become real actions. After all, the future development of events depends only on us. Let's do everything possible so that all of humankind can meet in one year.